Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and today I wanted to review this vehicle black box DVR dash cam. I purchased it on Amazon and I'll have all the information for you, pricing and whatnot in uh, the blog post as well as in this video at some point. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing and show you this particular dash cam. Now, I have a dash cam in my car, and I've had it there, gosh, for about three years, and it's not broken. It worked really great, and it continues to work great. Um, I just wanted to get a new one to get an updated one. So, um, unfortunately, they don't sell the other one that I had anymore on Amazon. It's discontinued. So after reading some reviews, I decided to go with this one. It's by Katne, C-A-T-N-E. So I haven't opened it yet, and I wanted to show you everything about this dash cam, including what it's like when you unbox it. So it was kind of a difficult choice because there are so many dash cams out there, and I didn't want to spend a fortune. This one was, I want to say... $69, somewhere around there, but I'll have the exact price for you. It features a 3.7 inch display video, and it had a lot of the features that I really wanted in a dash cam, and I love my dash cam. It's such a great thing to have in your car. Um, this has a little protective film over it, so you'll wanna be sure to take that off. This is very lightweight so far upon first impression. There's a little um, plastic layer over the lens too. So make sure you take that off. One of the reasons that I wanted this particular dash cam is because it says that it um, not only does front recording, but it also records the rear. Now I don't know exactly how that works and um, I'm definitely, definitely going to let you know because um, upon first glance, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but let me continue unboxing. So here we have a bunch of cables, um, a little instruction product manual here. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. So I'll have to check that out. So right now, I'm just going to open up some of the cables here so you could see up close what they are. This looks like, um, like an infrared type of cable. Uh, I'm not gonna know until I actually read the instructions. Here we have the car charger, what it looks like. The, the Amazon description wasn't like 100% clear about how everything works, but the reviews were good. I mean, you're always going to find one or two reviews where people are dissatisfied, but at some point you just have to dive in and make a decision, and that's what I did. So here's the car charger, and this is the mount. So this is the suction cup where it mounts to your dash. This is very standard looking. Yep. And then we have some screws, which I don't know what are for, and a little mounting tape there. So, um, as I was saying before, it says here that it has excellent 1080p, 30 frames per second front camera with a VGA waterproof rear cam. So, I'm really excited to see how that works, because that's really important. The webcam that I had didn't have that feature. Um, it also says it has ultra high definition and sensitivity. It captures video and detailed images, even in high speed or fast moving scenes. Uh, provide, it provides reliable evidence for reference, blah, blah, blah. It's got 170 plus a degree plus 90 degree wide angle lens. Catney dash cam has a front of view angle up to 170 degrees and a rear view angle up to 90 degrees. So I'll put all the specs 
and everything um, in the blog post and in the video too. I'll talk about it, but I just wanted to quickly show you what it looks like when you open it and some of the products that come boxed with it. So here they are, and that's pretty much what you get inside the box. Um, this is a lot wider than, I think the one that I had was under three inches. So this is going to be a lot nicer in terms of um, viewability because it does have a 3.7 inch display. So I'm going to install this in my car and then I'm gonna walk you through um, that and show you what the video looks like when we get recording. Okay, so I got it hooked up to my car and I have to say that I'm very impressed. Um, it was pretty easy to connect everything and the settings take a little bit getting used to, but once you go in and play around with all the different menu options, it's not too bad at all. So I just wanted to show you, this is obviously the front, um, the front view camera and then up here is the rear view. And I'm gonna show you how I hook that up. You can also mute, so it records all of the audio inside of your car when it's turned on. And with these little buttons on the side, you can very easily um, just mute them. You can mute the audio. So right now, you can see a little red X over the microphone that's um, muted and I'm going to unmute it now. Now that that's the menu and all you have to do is just arrow up and down and you can go into each one of those features um, very easily and just set all of the different parameters that you want. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. Then there's also a setting where you can change the view. So right now I have it set to like 50-50. So you can see half the screen is the rear view and half the screen is the front view. So just depending on what you like, you can very easily just touch one of the side menu buttons. Um, right now I turned the rear camera off and now I have just the rear camera on. And that's pretty cool, I have to say. I really um, like that feature probably the best. So I like it this way, which gives us um, a little preview of the rear so we can see it up there. And most of the screen is the front facing camera. And of course you set the, t the time and the date and like I said, all of the other settings are just very easy to toggle in and out of like I just showed you before. Um, there's lots of different settings in there, so definitely play around with them and see which um, ones that you prefer. Now what I'm gonna do is just show you how I hooked it up and show you the rear facing camera. Um, it took a little bit of figuring out how to do because the instructions were not that good I have to be honest they didn't really give you okay this is what you need to do to hook up the rear camera but once you figure it out you're like duh that was so simple so as you can see I just have some cables running down and um, there's the plug the charger part so it just simply plugs right into your cigarette lighter and what I'm gonna do right now is just show you the back camera where I have it um, hooked up. Okay, so that's the rear facing camera. And as you can see, I have it mounted directly underneath the hood. Now I have an SUV, so um, all I did was kind of just put it in the center of the vehicle and then there's two little screws that you can put in right here and I wedged it underneath this little rubber flap that goes all around your car and then I just ran this cord underneath this whole rubber and then it comes down and out and then very easily tucked away and then under um, and through 
the back seat and back up to the front. And we did it all very neatly, so it doesn't um, look like it's a mess. All the wires are pretty neat and organized. And as you can see, that's the um, rear facing camera. It's small, but you get an excellent view of the rear. Now, a lot of the cameras that I, the webcams, the dash cams that I was looking at on Amazon did not offer this rear facing camera. And let's face it, there are times when you do get hit in the rear. So it's important to be able to have documentation of that. And as you can see, it's pretty small and it's pretty much hidden away. So when I close my trunk, let me just show you, you can't even see, you can't even see it. It's pretty much hidden away. So I'm just gonna flip this around so you can see the other side. And that's the other side of it. I mean, these wires obviously are twisted because I turned it around. But it, um, it's very easy, like I said. There's, there's the menu again. Um, this little screw up here, you just twist it to tighten it. And um, then you also have the mounting. I have to say that this is very secure. It's very tight and it's not going anywhere. And this you just tighten, like I said, you just tighten that screw and then you can position the dash cam to wherever you know you want it to be. But I have to say that I absolutely love this dash cam. I have it up here for at least a month now and um, it's very easy to use. It has an SD card and all I do is I pop the SD card out of here um, and then I just take it inside and I have a little SD card reader. Those are your, your buttons for your menu. And then I just delete a lot of the old video that's on here. So um, like I'll wait till two weeks passes and then I just go in and wipe it clean. And then I just reinsert the SD card. It's that simple. I believe that if you don't do that, it will just keep overwriting whatever videos you have on there. So um, I personally just like to take it inside and wipe it clean and then put it back in. And again, I do that about every two weeks or so. So I'm very pleased with this stash cam. I love it. The video quality is excellent and I will show you some of that quality. Um, I'll give you a few examples of what it looks like. Um, and then you get two folders one with the rear facing camera video and one with the front facing camera. So that's pretty cool that you get um, two different folders with two, your video in it, one from the rear facing and one from the front. That's kind of cool. So it's not like um, where you see this little image in your video. You actually get two different types of, um, of uh, video files. So again, let, I'll show that to you right now. And um, I love it. Like I said before, I, you know, for the price, it's excellent. The quality is excellent. And I highly recommend it. So I'm just going to pause and let you see some of the video, for example. So this is the front facing camera at night. And as you can see, you could see everything very crisp and clear. And um, next up is going to be the front facing camera during the day and I love the fact that you have such a wide angle I think it's up to 170 degrees that you can see everything very crisp and clear next up you're going to see the rear facing camera um, during the day and one of the reasons why I got this camera was because of the fact that it does have a rear facing camera. Now you can mount this camera on the outside of your vehicle, but I decided to mount it on the inside. It is waterproof, so you can mount it on the outside as well. Okay, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you on them. Again, I highly recommend this camera. I love it. And I believe that every car should have a dash cam in it. It's great for, um, God forbid, if you get in an accident and you know you have proof that it wasn't your fault. And if it was, you can always just delete the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But all, in all seriousness, it's here for you, this, this camera. So 
definitely advise every car to have one of them. So please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm in the process of growing it and I would be very appreciative if you did subscribe and like this video. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them. I'll be sure and get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself a great and safe day.